Hello everyone, welcome to watch this video. I'm Kun Chen. Today I'm going to be talking about our work. I will introduce this work from the following three parts. The depth map represents some implicit three-dimensional information, which are widely utilized in many applications, including 3D reconstruction, automatic drive, and augmented reality. So, how to acquire depth maps? The more common method is to use a depth camera. The common principles of depth camera include structured light, time of flight, TOF, and binocular stereo vision. But what happens when the region we shoot with depth camera are smooth, glossy, bright, black, or transparent. Let's see the pictures. Pay attention to the area surrounded by these red boxes. We can see from the RGB image that when the photographed object has the characteristics of reflection and light absorption, it will cause depth error and depth missing. This is the area marked by the red box from these figures. For the missing regions, some depth completion measures have been proposed to fill the depth holes. If there are some wrong values in the missing regions, it will generate defective results. As an example shown in figure 1, the depth camera sees the black region with wrong depth values, like figure 1a-b. If we directly conduct the depth completion method on it, it will induce a bad completion result, like figure 1d. Based on this problem, we propose a method to eliminate the incorrect depth points by cooperating the RGB semantics. Focusing on the acquired depth map, we use the local 3D geometry property joined with the 2D RGB semantic information. This removal will give a better guide to the depth completion. As can be seen from figure C, using transitional filtering methods to deal with depth errors, the completion result is not good neither in figure 1c. And we will get a correct completion after conducting our proposed method, see in figure 1e. This is the framework of our method. Giving a RGBD image, we first locate potential incorrect depth regions through a segmentation network. The blue area in point cloud is the potential error area. Then we use the predicted surface normal to help determine whether the depth is wrong. Last, we introduce a three-step removal method to remove the incorrect depth point. Our method mainly deals with two types of data. One category contains the screen, and the other contains transparent objects with reflection. The main reasons are that these two types of objects often appear in indoor scenes, and the incorrect depth point on these objects are often caused by uneven lighting. For this reason, we adopt a state-of-the-art segmentation network, deep depth version 3 to predict these two regions. Then we propose a basic method for judging whether there are error points in the area. We mainly compare the difference between the predicted normal map NI and the calculate normal ND. The NI can predict it from the service estimated network and the ND can calculate it by fitting a local tangent plane. We find that when the depth error occurs, the NI are more 
accurate than the ND. In order to remove points more accurate, we convert depths into 3D point cloud representation. Here is the first step, elimination of block incorrect depth point. The red box indicates the potential error depth area, and the corresponding point cloud is shown in figure A. Here we give a removal weight to each point for the first removal. In this figure, blue indicates lower weight, and red indicates higher weight. Lower weight often means that the point may be wrong, and we should remove it. So how to compute the removal weight for the first step? Here we introduce a weighted block normal difference to calculate removal weight. Not only considers the normal difference of a certain point, but also considers the normal difference consistency of its neighboring points. And the first removal result is shown in figure B. Due to the removal of the first step, some sparse points will be left. This point often have some characteristic like the normal difference is not big, but the depth is wrong. So in the second step, we consider the local density of each point and the statistical information of the removed points in the previous step to help remove. This is because if there are many points around the point are wrong or its own density is low, then it is likely to be the sparse point we need to remove. That is, it has the above characteristics. In order to balance the local density and the statistical information characteristics of each point, we sum them and normalize the two. This allows us to remove sparse error points in the second step. As shown in the picture on the figure A, the bluer the points, the more likely it is the wrong point. The third step is to remove some outliers. Here we reproject back to the two-dimensional image and remove in this dimension. We perform connected components analyze on this image to do the third removal. It can be seen from the figure that there are still some outliers in figure A and these outliers can be removed well by the third step of removal. Next is the experimental part. The completion method we use here mainly refers to the Jones method. The first section is a visualization result on a point cloud. Four examples of incorrect depth point elimination for depth completion The first row shows original completion method in JOMS method. The second row is our proposed method plus JOMS method. We conduct the completion by the methods in JOM. From the visual point cloud, we can see that the completion result with the elimination of incorrect depth points are much better. The second section is the visualization result on the image. From left to right is the RGB images, the depth map, the depth maps after conducting our elimination method, the completion depth maps by John's method, and the completion depth maps by our proposed method plus John's method. For example results, in procedural color in figure 6. It can be seen that the completion results are more reasonable with our proposed method. The red area in the third column shows our removal result, which shows that our method can remove the wrong depth point while retaining the correct depth pyro. This is a great improvement for depth completion applications.
as shown in the fourth and the fifth columns. The completion results after processing by our methods are more in line with visual logic. The third section is the comparison of the enhancement effect between us and the other denoising method. Figure 7 shows four results. From this figure, we can obtain the best results by combining our methods with John's method. That is because the transitional filtering method may modify the correct depth value when conducting the denoising operations on the depth map. It can be seen from figure F that our method has obvious improvements in the application of depth completion. Other denoising methods often take into account the information of the image neighborhood for smoothing and cannot achieve the effect of removing arrow points. This is our presentation. Thanks all.